Greetings, Dodger fans, baseball fans, what's up? Dre here coming to you from the corner of Scully and Sunset on this lovely Tuesday evening. Gonna be hooking up with the kid in a moment. Kid's just waiting for Dre over at The Rock over on the corner of Scully and Stadium. What kid doesn't know is that Dre's just waiting for a few more minutes before for the prices to drop even more before we go inside so that we can get our uh, Jock Peterson bobblehead tonight. You know, they're giving away JP bobblehead says uh, tonight's promotion before the Dodger Cardinal game. Peterson, third season with the Dodgers, kind of been struggling this uh, to start off the season. Only has two home runs. One of his home runs was that Grand Slam against San Diego opening day. But, you know, hopefully he'll pick it up. You know, I was uh, checking the websites earlier today, the homepage, Dodger homepage, and um, a lot of seats available. So I'm like looking at third party sites right now. And so, you know, kid, he's probably doing some yoga pose on top of that rock right now. So we'll see him in a bit. Let's go blue. As I said, you know, when I was down there at Scully and Sunset, that the kid here was probably doing some yoga pose on top of the rock here on Scully and Sunset. Uh... Dodgers, Dodgers gonna win today, tonight. Who's pitching? Kershaw. Who's pitching? Oh come! Oh Jesus! Oh come! On. come on, Did you really have to ask that? Who's pitching? I'm saying he's gonna get a no hitter now. Okay, you're trying to jinx it before the game. You know, now you're over for two, buddy. What? Come on. <laughs> All right. Go for no hitter or ten strikeouts. That sounds reasonable. All right, that's more reasonable. That no, right. and a Dodger win. That's right. All right, okay. kid. So you know that's what to do. Good rock. See you. I uh, got the NASA hat. That. All right. Here we go. We're on the way. Not even nine o'clock here on this Tuesday evening, 8.48. And we're already in the top of the seventh. Dodgers on a solo shot by Grandal in the first inning with a one nothing lead. Kid Marley here before the game. Remember he said that Kershaw would strike out 10. He struck out six through six. So you just might have the right call tonight, kid. You know, next pitch to Steven Piscotti swung on and missed. Oh, and two. But see, before the game, you said no hitter. See, because well, Dre. Said either or. I said either no, or. No, 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 no. It's not none of this either or. You don't. You know. You gotta go full distance. So, but you know, kid. There's actually this superstition in baseball that if a pitcher is pitching a no hitter, don't mention it. Don't mention it. Hey. You know. A lot of times it spreads in the stands as well, even though there's usually one fan that'll say it, but... Now, say like after five innings, if a pitcher has a no-hitter, what teams will do, the pitcher's teammates will do when they go back to the dugout is they'll stay away from their pitcher. They want to leave him alone. No, so has to leave him in a zone. You don't want to break his rhythm. Again, it's a superstition. Now, of course, if you're the team being no hit, you keep talking about it in the dugout. There's seven. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Steven Piscotti goes down swinging for the Redbirds. That is now seven strikeouts through six and a third for a Kid K. Let's make note of that here. And here as well. Hey Kid, can you read my notes? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah? Uh, not really. Other than the K? Four, six, three, double play. Was that a F9, like a foul, a fly bomb? 
And what does the nine represent the fly ball to? Which one? All right, you're two for two. Come on, kid. Come on, you. Yeah, hey. Good job, kid. Yes. Left field. All right, keep going. All right. Now, okay. Second inning. Scott Piscotti. 3 1. What does that mean? Oh, wow. Uh, uh, wow. <laughs> That's the third baseman to the first baseman. No. And I'll tell you in a second. I'm gonna put Matt, Matt Carpenter at the dish here. Oh! Let's see. about the 3-1 there. The 3 is the first baseman. 1 is the pitcher. So that that meant was Adrian Gonzalez fielded the ball. He threw the Kershaw covering. So, you know, Trey giving Kid here a little tutorial on scorekeeping, you know. Now, what's 5-3? Yes. And the next pitch to Adrian. He's going to take it to the bag himself. So, that'll be three unassisted. And we're moving right along. Through six and a half, still one nothing. Well, and you know what time it is, kid. Ladies and gentlemen, seven to seven minutes stretch, presented by Coca Cola. Please rise and show the scene. Peralta to start off the inning. He's got nine Ks. Kid, you said ten. He's one out away from it. He could get it right here. And the count one and one. To Adonis Diaz. Between these two, only three hits between these two teams tonight. Of course, one of them, again, was that solo shot by Grandal. Good thing we came on time. It's one thing to arrive late, you know. We all tend to do every now and then, but on a night like this, when you got 
two of the top pitchers pitching. And now Kershaw's one strike away from that 10 that you called before the game, kid. Here we go. And the crowd getting into it. And the one, two. Misses inside. And the count, two and two. Some of the fans not caring for that, but as Vin always would say, they're watching it with their hearts, not with their eyes. All right, here we go. Two balls, two strikes, two outs from number 22. This 22, give us number 10 right here. Oh! I think that's his first three ball count all night. That, I think that's the first time he's hit a three ball count all night. Here, two outs within the eight, top of the eighth. All right, here we go. Fans trying to root him home here. And a three, two, swung and missed. There's number 10. Number 10, kid. Number 10, buddy. <laughs> and we still got an inning to go. He might, he's going to exceed your 10, buddy. Oh, wait a minute. That guy, no, he's finishing this game. He's finishing the game. Hey, man. Good call, kid. Good call. You know. I should play the lottery, man. Wow. That's great. Yeah. So, kid, you said 10. Were you feeling it tonight? Like you know what? That rock again, you know. Good luck. Maybe you need to do another yoga pose out there the uh, next game we go to a crew shop. It's just, you know. Check the pose. Check the pose. Wow. This game's gonna end before 9.30, the rate we're going. <laughs>